ಯಕ್ಷಗುಂಡಂ ವಿಶ್ವೇಶ್ವರಯ್ಯ ಹೂ ವಾಸ್ ಎ ಭಾರತ ರತ್ನ ಹೂ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಗಿವನ್ ದಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರ್ ಇನ್ ನ್ಯಾಷನಲ್ ಬಿಲ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಟು ದಿ ಫ್ಯೂಚರ್ ಜನರೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಲೆಟ್ ಅಸ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ವಿತ್ ಗಾರ್ಲ್ಯಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಲೈಟಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಲ್ಯಾಂಪ್ ದೆನ್ ವಿಲ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಕಂಡಕ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಫಂಕ್ಷನ್ ಐ ರಿಕ್ವೆಸ್ಟ್ ಶ್ರೀ ವಿಜಯಕುಮಾರ್ ಗಾರು and sri e srinivas rao garu to light the lamp and garland sri visheshwaraya also celebrating the eminent engineer award along with the engineer day so i request dr vijay kumar garu to come and occupy the dais as one of the guests of the evening to occupy the dais i also request Sri Devi Prasad Garu to come and occupy the dais. I request Sri Murthy Garu, Secretary ACC, to please occupy the dais. I request Susarla Ram Gopal to please come and occupy the dais. for a new chapter which we are going to make in the human history because of the covid-19 which is a pandemic hunting us normally people think that engineers are no part for the pandemic or epidemic but public health is of a concern for civil engineer even mechanical engineer electronic engineer and we work in public health so <coughs> the health of the citizens is a good concern for all the civil engineers and uh, we wish we will be able to do better in the near year, 2 3 years now i request professor dsr murthy andhra university secretary acc to please lecture on the importance of the engineers day as we are celebrating today the engineers day thank you very much i request professor dsr murthy to deliver this speech president of the function surnarayan garu he is the chairman for i ACCE as well as ICI, Vizag chapter and today's guest, Professor P.S. Rao Garu is known to me very well for several years and Dr. S. Vijay Kumar Garu and Ra- Susala Rambhav Garu all people and Devi Prasad Garu and all the invited guests, ladies and gentlemen so it's a honor for me to be associated with you to in this on this occasion uh, really it's a pleasure to be associated and uh, professional activity is not there for last one and a half two years we could not run the show it has been revived now both the associations uh, were given ratification 
from the headquarters, ACC by Bangalore and ICI from headquarters, both were given the approval and the governing body has been formed. So I think from now onwards, despite this pandemic situation, I think we can, we plan to run the organization either in online mode or physically like this with minimum number. So that's one thing. Development, I want to bring it to your notice. And it's a really honor for us that uh, our headquarters has uh, identified two people from Vaisak Center to be felicitated for this year. And uh, Vaisak Center committee has sat and identified and recommended unanimously both Professor P. S. Rao Garu and uh, Dr. S. Vijay Kumar for this year's awards and uh, it was given online in a virtual meeting and uh, today it will be handed over physically that is the main reason and uh, along with September we know we celebrate engineers day and all and but due to the convenience and all it, it was selected today and uh, the two persons reflect two dimensions of civil engineering one from the academic field, that is Professor P. S. Rao Garu, very well known in civil structures means he is the authority. So he is a well known authority known throughout the nation, including in the code making also he was associated and last few years in Vaisag also he is contributing from the college side also development of Gayatri Vijaparshat and all. So everybody knows his academic contributions and he is a leader and he is a set a benchmark which has to be emulated by others. So leaders are like that. They set the benchmarks and they set their own benchmarks. They don't take from others, they set their own and it becomes for others difficult to achieve. So that is the way they reach their pinnacle in their career. And we see Pierce Rower achieved that in academic excellence uh, domain, still working and uh, attending to the academic activities and all. And coming to Rao, as Dr. S. Vijay Kumar Garu, he, also, he has also chosen after engineering the graduation, both B.Tech and M.Tech. He has done from Andhra University, B.E.M.E. Those days it is a B.E.M.E. Now we are calling B.Tech, M.Tech. And then Ph.D. also. Incidentally, both of us are known to me. And City also knows, many of you also know him, know them very well. Uh, their contribution to the city. Both have contributed. Even in this pandemic situation, they have done a build, a nice flyover at NAD, you know how difficult. So like that, many prestigious projects, they are associated and uh, immensely they contributed to the development of the state and the country. Now looking at the importance of the engineers today, definitely we can learn from these two people only what is the importance and all. People who have stood for contribution, uh, for excellence, for academic excellence, so that means what? In their chosen field, whether it is in construction or in the academic field, they have tried to achieve excellence. That is the idea. So, they strive for excellence with integrity and with value systems. That is the idea. And we should imbibe that. They have stood for values with their hard work and perseverance over the years. Uh, and it is for others now, for all engineers, for everybody to learn from them and take guidance from them. If we can follow that, I think that's enough for any engineer to learn from them, from their subject, from their experience and their practices which they followed. It will help the society, I think both in giving better solutions. I remember they uh, started a associate training institute also for the betterment. Of, I think no agency has started like that. Very few country have thought of like that. Dr. Vijay Kumar has uh, contributed. He realized in civil engineering, trained manpower is a missing dimension. So he attended that also. For many years, I really don't know, last few years, but earlier he was continuing that institute and imparting education and all that. And retaining the workmen's uh, workmanship also is the people retaining the team and all that. 
many companies they don't retain also i see that in the construction area but here is a company which employs them even their children also are trained and all that's another plus point dedication will be there loyalty will be there so these are things values we have to see and learn that way i learned a lot from these two people observing them closely and i think most of you also have seen them their contribution and all so as engineers we should always try to learn from the good practices uh, things which they have contributed and all so i thank you all for giving me this opportunity i think we should spend more time listening to them and all that and after honoring and all thank you for giving me thank you i request susarla ram gopal garu to read the citation of uh, dr s vijay kumar garu after reading the citation dr vijay kumar garu will give a reply and about everything including the engineers day then we will do the honor for dr vijay kumar garu good evening gracious ladies fellow engineers the eminent engineers on the days and the fraternity of engineering profession as professor p s rao garo and dr s vijay kumar garo were lighting the lamp <coughs> i was reminded of as stands up from the rigveda the rigveda says the very first stanza of the rigveda says agnim mile purohitam yagnasya deva mrityam hotaram ratnadhatamam okay before we go into the detailed meaning of that instead i just want to touch upon a couple of matters agnim mile purohitam that is the first line of this stanza puro hitam means puro means the future hitam means the goodness for the good of the future let us pray agni so whenever a, a meeting is started a puja is started a yajna is done a light is done lamp is lit so that it will lead the way and it it kindles whatever is to be kindled in the hearts of the people who are sitting engineers day is a very important day for all of us once albert einstein said every day on 100 occasions i remind myself that my mental and physical life depends on the toil of other persons living or dead the food that nourishes me is grown by other people the house i live in has been built by other people the dresses i put on are made by other people likewise whatever knowledge i have gathered from my childhood days have been acquired from other people so i must try to repay what i have received and i am still receiving this is what albert einstein said long long ago and here gentlemen and ladies we have a couple of people who represent whatever einstein in those days said i must repay what i have received and receiving professor p s rao who is known as the bhishma acharya of civil engineering in visakhapatnam is an academician an extraordinarily intelligent person from iit madras has 
contributed so much to the field of engineering he is repaying by teaching to multitude of students the trans by transfer of knowledge as the chairman of gayatri vidya parishad the other person is dr s vijay my my good friend he is a builder he is a cultural culture propagator philanthropist environmental protectionist i mean these are only a few of them i i have known him doing so many things so we can see in spite of their age their strengths have not diminished they are continuously and continually doing whatever they can offer to the society around us just as einstein said repay back to the world around because we have taken so much from the world it is a great privilege and a pleasure for me to read the citation being given to dr s v jay kumar by association of consulting civil engineer con consulting civil engineers well i don't know how i i fit into that field because i am not a civil engineer by qualification i am a chemical engineer with petroleum refinery engineering as my elective but i am doing civil works in, including even designs sometimes of car of combined structures of steel and cement or concrete and as a consultant of civil engineering though i am not a part of association of consulting civil engineers i am a member of the engineering council of india and on behalf of the engineering council of india and the association of consult consulting civil engineers i read dear dr s vijay kumar visakhapatnam we the members of association of consulting civil engineers place on record our deep appreciations for all the achievements that have come on your way due to your assiduous and fervent efforts in furthering the cause of civil engineering in general and society at large your continued passion in accomplishing the objectives of this association stands as a testimony for the next generation to stay focused and pursue the goals of this association with renewed vigor and energy association of consulting civil engineers india recognize your services and facilitate you on the occasion of 36th annual general body meeting held virtually on 25th august 2021 at bangalore and physically today on the 8th of september in the grandhalayam premises of visakhapatnam signed by dr m u aswath president rajesh kannan r secretary general badrinath singhri the treasurer i request mm. surnarayan will you please hand it over to dr s v jay kumar now i request dr vijay kumar garu to uh, tell us how he became so great in the society let him give a future mold to the future generation first of all let me pay my respects to my guru at iit sri ps ravaru also at anuradha sri sri ds murthy 
Still, I'm so fortunate to receive this in their presence. And also, I like to pay my gratitude to my parents, Mahathir Deva Baba, Pitru Deva Baba. Similarly, many teachers who taught me many things in my right from children, Sri Bhaskara Charigaru in mathematics, Sri Acharigaru in many things. And also, my father-in-law, Sri Amarav Garu, who taught me the value of homework and time management. Similarly, after that, I learned many things from my wife and also from my son-in-law and Chandana and also Vishnu, because these are the people who Mohamata and Lagata Novikar Tapajas Navane Nandan Karakjeet is Kundanaki Maya Zubichi Novikta Andhani Palakina Anandan Valubhis Nana Similarly, in the field of the activity my VNC team who has given their best and I like to thank all of them for whatever we are today and recognition we are getting is because of them and we treat every one of them as part of our family. On this occasion I like to express my happiness and gratitude to every one of them. Similarly from my colleagues from BAI, here Sri Ramakutaya is there and many of them have given me the opportunity to do many things which in my own way I experimented with them, they tolerated me. <laughs> and uh, I express my happiness to them. Similarly, the Padayavana Margadarsi team, which is a environmental team, have given their best. See, for me the most fortunate thing is, at every time I have got a competent people to assist me, because of that, I get a lot of good name, either in BA or in public library where I am the president. Sri Varmagaru did so much of good thing and also the whole team of library have got so much commitment under the leadership of Rani Durga. We are all um, deeply happy about whatever they are giving. Thank you so much. Similarly, related to the profession, what I like to express is, in civilian particularly, the foreman cadre is missing. Unlike in electrical engineering, mechanical engineering, foreman should be there as a bridge between to translate the design into actual, to explain to the artisan to get the best of the quality and also Everything is possible only when foreman cat is there. We need to put effort to do that. Similarly, there is a time lag between whatever has been achieved in R&D and also successfully implemented in wonderful success all over the world. They are taking so much time to imbibe that and believe in that and implementing. For example, the fly ash cement and the slag cement all over the world they are implementing and from Visavadnam it was transported by road and also by sea to faraway places and constructed many wonderful structures. Whereas Visavadnam industry took almost 10 years to adapt it. But Pisra is also witness to that. So that need to be reduced. Similarly, my request to the consulting engineers and architects is please see the ease of construction and the access for maintenance is paramount while designing this structure. That, that way only your construction can be done with quality for that modular co coordination is required. They should not go for fancy designs with too many sizes and other things because it is very important for a country like India to preserve the resources, particularly in farm work and other things, to use, to get more repetitions, and by that only the skilled manpower also can adapt to it without any mistakes. 
So these are the things which they require. And also the access for maintenance also should be thought of while doing the architecture. All these things, I'm requesting the members of AACCE to take notice and improve upon. And finally, my wife jokingly remarks, in this 40 years, what, what is that you have earned? Today I am revealing the secret. I earned many friendships, many relationships. And also the goodwill, which I feel is the real wealth in anybody's course of life. And I am really thankful to my wife for doing all the this thing. Finally, I like to thank the AACCE to recommend my name along with Professor P. S. Ravagaru for eminent engineer to the central body. So, I like to express my happiness for that. Thank you very much. Honorable guest, Dr. S. V. G. Kumar Garu, Professor P. S. Rao Garu, and other dignitaries on the dais, ladies and gentlemen, and fellow engineers. Firstly, on behalf of Association of Consulting Civil Engineers, Vishagapatnam Center, let me take this opportunity to thank, thank and congratulate Dr. S. V. G. Kumar Garu and Dr. P. S. Rao Garu for accepting the Eminent Engineer Award awarded for the exemplary professionalism exhibited by them in the field of civil engineering and its development. Hearty congratulations, sir. I am privileged to read Felicita for Dr. P. S. Raogar. I read Dear Professor P. S. Rao, Vishagapatnam, we, the members of the Association of Consulting Civil Engineers India place on record our deep appreciations for all the achievements that have come on your way due to your assiduous and fervent efforts in furthering the cause of civil engineering in general and society at large. Your continued passion in accomplishing the objectives of this association stands as a testimony for the next generation to stay focused and pursue the goals of this association with renewed vigor and energy. Association of Consulting Civil Engineers India recognize your services and felicitate your, you on the occasion of 36th Annual General Body Meeting held virtually on 25th August 2021 at Bangalore. Signed, Dr. M. U. Aswash, President, Rajesh Kannanar, Secretary General, Badrinath Singhri, Treasurer. Thank you. Request Professor P. S. Rao Garu, who has given us the Indian Concrete Institute. He was the founding member who has signed at the Madras uh, Register of Societies and formed the, society, uh, the Indian Concrete Institute. So let us give a big hand and hear from him. Thank you. Please, Mr. Sunayangara, the co awarded Dr. Vijay Kumar, Mr. Prasad Garu, Mr. D. S. Sarmurti, Mr. Ram Gopal, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, I would like to thank the Association of Consulting Civil Engineers for having chosen me as one of the awardees as an eminent engineer. I would like to congratulate my co awardee Dr. Vijay Kumar, for having been chosen as, as again an awardee of this particular award as an eminent engineer. I have known Dr. Vijay Kumar for more than 25 years. He is a real builder, builder of the nation. 
not just builder of a uh, few structures but people like him are builders of nation and they should be role models for young engineers my congratulations to you dr vijay kumar and uh, it's nice that uh, mr sunanagar remember today is 8th september and the icai the indian concrete institute was born on 7th september if you remember right mr gopal sastriyar used to celebrate 7th september as indian concrete day i am sorry the concrete day all over india it is celebrated all over india as concrete day 7th september that was yesterday and today is 8th september i distinctly remember that meeting when seven of us got together in the structural engineering research center of chennai dr ramaya was the director of the institute at that time and then the seven of us sat together and decided that we should form the indian concrete institute dr ramaya was the president jakaria george was the secretary general the first secretary general and he was the secretary general for over 20 years or so mr ramon the deputy director of src then myself from iit madras dr a ramakrishna from lnt dr c n srinivasan of sir narendra and sons chennai uh, from the engineer side and professor purushottam of anna university we were the seven of us who signed the document and submitted to the registrar to register the society indian concrete institute with seven members and today it has 16000 members all over india the one prestigious institute and i personally feel it should play a much greater role than what it has been playing so far in uh, uh, drafting the codes of practice of our country the american code is known as aci code american concrete institute code it is not known as a, a code of uh, american association of standards or something like that it is the professional body the american concrete institute which has made that code and i would like to see that uh, similar situation coming up in in our country and uh, also around that time it was in 1982 so that means next year we will be completing 40 years the indian concrete institute and uh, it, i see most of the people are uh, in the age group of 30 to 40 so some of the people are beyond 60 and people who are beyond 60 might be remembering those days late 70s and early 80s were very very critical days for construction industry in the country cement was not available we had to import cement from countries like korea i still remember people used to clamor to get korean cement it was known as korean cement because the strength of that cement was much much superior to the strength of the cement available in india at that time cuz now we are on par with uh, the rest of the countries and so at that time the idea came out that uh, to save on materials we could use blended cements polyurethane cements and in one of the meetings of the indian roads congress around that time they had asked me as i was representing the iit madras on that committee so you are from an academic institute why don't you take up some investigations and see whether polyurethane can be added as red mixture to concrete i undertook the responsibility and started testing specimens made with uh, ordinary portland cement specimens made with uh, portland pozrana cement and the general belief of all people including myself at the time was that we will get the result that opc is much much better than ppc that was what we respected and we wanted to reject the concept that pozrana cement should be used as a substitute for uh, ordinary portland cement so our test was 
focused in that direction. But when we conducted the test, we got exactly the opposite result. When we conducted the test on corrosion of steel embedded in concrete made with ordinary Portland cement and concrete made with Portland Pozona cement, we found that the corrosion was much, much less in the specimens made with uh, Pozona cement. Then my colleague at uh, Kalyan Sundaram at IIT Madras and I thought we made a mistake. We must have made some mistake in our test, so let us repeat the test. We repeated the test. We got the same result. Then we concluded that it is correct. Then we searched the literature and found out the reason, sorry, I don't want to go into that. And we found that uh, the Pozolana cements were doing much better from durability point of view. I don't want to go into the technicalities now because time is very short. And today, 70% of the cement or even 80% of the cement produced in our country is Portland Pozolana cement. Only about 15, 20 to 30% is ordinary Portland cement. And I find that in all the academic institutions, the tests are conducted even today mostly on OPC. Whereas the bulk of cement that is available in the, in the industry or in the country is Portland Pozolana cement. And we are having these days ternary, ternary cements. Ternary in the sense of three cement issues materials. Cement, either OPC or Portland Pozolana cement, then Pozolana itself, and then the cementitious material ground blast furnace lack. Three three components. And I would like to suggest, I would like to take this opportunity to suggest to the uh, uh, put forward this idea to our August audience that the academic institutes in and around Visakhapatnam, which are interested in doing collaborative work, like say Andhra University. Our college, Gayatri Vijayapur State College of Engineering, MVGR College from Vijayanagaram, and maybe a couple of other colleges. And rope in people from industry like Dr. Vijaykumar's company or some other progressive looking companies, get them into our fold, three or four of them, and then make a committee and then decide what are the research topics we have to undertake. But I miss it. I was in IIT Madras for more than 30 years and whenever I conducted international conferences I could have the giants of structural engineering in the, attending the conference. T. N. Sobharao of Gammons, A. Ramakrishna of LNT, Mahendra Raj of Delhi who built the entire Connaught place and then Mahesh Tandon of the Tandon Consultants, Sirish Patel of uh, Mumbai, Dr. Noori of Sirish Patel Company, all stalwarts of uh, special engineering, practicing engineers used to interact with us. But I miss it completely here in Visakhapatna. No interaction with industry, uh, between industry and the academic institutions. Dr. Viju Kumar is an example where a very liberal, very progressive uh, looking person. So I appeal to you and through you to your fraternity that uh, we should do we should do something to change the scenario in Visakhapatnam. And I am, my colleague, Professor Paparov, is here from my department of Kaitri Vijayapur College of Engineering. Can you please take the initiative, Dr. Paparov, to start this. So once again, with, I want to leave this idea with you. It is up to you. I am an 85-year-old person. So it is up to the younger persons to take up this idea and uh, get something out of it. Thank you very much.
ప్రెసిడెంట్ ఆఫ్ టుడేస్ ఫంక్షన్ శ్రీ సరిపల్లి సూర్యనారాయణ గారు సుసర్ల రామ్ గోపాల్ గారు డాక్టర్ బిఎస్ఆర్ మూర్తి గారు అండ్ టుడేస్ ఆనరబుల్ గెస్ట్ డాక్టర్ పిఎస్ రావు గారు అండ్ శ్రీ డాక్టర్ విజయ్ కుమార్ గారు అదర్ డిఫినెటరీస్ ఆన్ అండ్ ఆఫ్ ఆఫ్ ది డయాస్ అండ్ ఆల్ ది ఇన్వైటీస్ అండ్ పార్టిసిపెంట్స్ ఆఫ్ టుడేస్ ప్రోగ్రామ్ గుడ్ ఈవినింగ్ ఎవ్రీ వన్ సో ఐఎమ్ డాక్టర్ పి మార్కండేయ రాజు ప్రొఫెసర్ అండ్ హెడ్ సివిల్ ఇంజనీరింగ్ డిపార్ట్మెంట్ ఎంవీజిఆర్ కాలేజ్ ఆఫ్ ఇంజనీరింగ్ విజయనగరం ఐ ఆమ్ ప్రివిలేజ్ టు స్పీక్ బిఫోర్ దిస్ ఆగస్ట్ గ్యాదరింగ్ ఆన్ దిస్ అకేషన్ ఆఫ్ డాక్టర్ పిఎస్ రావు అకేషన్ ఆఫ్ డాక్టర్ పిఎస్ రావు గారు అండ్ డాక్టర్ విజయ్ కుమార్ గారు బీయింగ్ అవార్డెడ్ ఎమినెంట్ ఇంజనీర్ అవార్డ్ బై అసోసియేషన్ ఆఫ్ కన్సల్టింగ్ సివిల్ ఇంజనీర్స్ ఆల్ దో అవార్డ్స్ అండ్ రికగ్నిషన్స్ ఆర్ నాట్ న్యూ టు దీస్ టూ ఎమినెంట్ ఇంజనీర్స్ దీస్ ఫెలిసిటేషన్స్ ఆర్ ఎక్స్పెక్టెడ్ టు ఇన్స్పైర్ యంగ్ యంగ్ ఇంజనీర్స్ టు ఎక్సెల్ ఇన్ దేర్ కెరియర్స్ సో కాంక్రీట్ ఈజ్ అన్ ఇంటిగ్రల్ పార్ట్ ఆఫ్ ఇంజనీర్స్ లైఫ్ పర్టికులర్లీ సివిల్ ఇంజనీర్స్ సో ఇండియన్ సిమెంట్ ఇండస్ట్రీ ఆన్ అన్ యావరేజ్ ప్రొడ్యూసెస్ ఫైవ్ హండ్రెడ్ అండ్ ఫిఫ్టీ మిలియన్ టన్స్ ఆఫ్ సిమెంట్ అండ్ ప్రపోర్షనేట్ క్వాంటిటీ ఆఫ్ కాంక్రీట్ పర్ ఆనమ్ ద రిక్వైర్మెంట్స్ ఆఫ్ కాంక్రీట్ హ్యావ్ బీన్ చేంజింగ్ ఓవర్ ద లాస్ట్ ఫ్యూ డికేట్స్ వెరీ ర్యాపిడ్లీ సో ఇన్ ద ఇనీషియల్ ఇయర్స్ ఆఫ్ ఇట్స్ ఇన్వెన్షన్ ద మెయిన్ రిక్వైర్మెంట్ ఆఫ్ కాంక్రీట్ వాజ్ స్ట్రెంగ్ ఇంజనీర్స్ ఎక్స్పెక్టెడ్ కాంక్రీట్ టు బి వెరీ స్ట్రాంగ్ so adding more cement was expected to give more strength later engineers were ex- were expecting improved workability so so that they can they have an ease to work with concrete and in the recent past durability of concrete gained importance and engineers wanted long lasting concrete however today's engineers expect sustainable concrete which means that a concrete that meets the demands of today without compromising on the future requirements so this means that concrete should have minimum carbon footprint low life cycle cost along with high performance so so, the, so there is our research and practicing engineers are striving uh, their best to achieve these modern requirements and today's guests particularly have all through their life strived but for the betterment of this material Dr. P.S. Rao Garu has invented concepts based on which current advancements in concrete technology are based. And Dr. Vijay Kumar Garu as an entrepreneur has trained many young engineers working under him towards construction of good quality projects by making good concrete. So on this occasion, let us all commit ourselves towards production of better concrete for the sake of future generations. Thank you one and all. professor paparao garu to speak a brief lecture on the role of engineers in nation building respected <coughs> professor ps rao garu uh, president gaitri jo patshat and the former professor of civil engineering and dean iit madras renowned of section there and respected uh, dr s vijay kumar garu chairman vijay nirman company uh, company limited visakhapatnam మేడం విజయ్ కుమార్ గారు అండ్ ప్రొఫెసర్ డిఎస్ఆర్ మూర్తి గారు ప్రొఫెసర్ ఆఫ్ సివిల్ ఇంజనీరింగ్ అండ్ మై పిహెచ్డి సూపర్వైజర్స్ ఫ్రమ్ ఆంధ్ర యూనివర్సిటీ ఐ డిడ్ మై పిహెచ్డి సెక్షన్ ఇంజనీరింగ్ ఫ్రమ్ ఆంధ్ర యూనివర్సిటీ అండర్ ద గైడెన్స్ ఆఫ్ ప్రొఫెసర్ డిఎస్ఆర్ మూర్తి గారు అండ్ శ్రీ సూ సూర్యనారాయణ గారు చైర్మన్ ఐసి అండ్ ఐసిసిఈ అండ్ సుశల్ రామ్ ప్రసాద్ గారు అండ్ దేవ్ ప్రసాద్ గారు అండ్ ఆల్ అదర్ డిస్టింగ్విస్డ్ ఇంజనీర్ సివిల్ ఇంజనీర్స్ of the dais uh first of all my sincere thanks to association of uh, civil engineers for giving me this uh, opportunity to speak before you before the eminent civil engineers uh, i don't know i am reserved for this because uh, with their experience they are very small uh, and also uh, i thank uh, first of all my hearty congratulations to uh, both the awardees for having received this uh eminent injuries award by acc of the hearty congratulations to you sir the both of you uh and on behalf of myself dr popar i am currently working as a professor and head department of civil engineering uh, gayatri vidya college of engineering autonomous visakhapatnam under the able guidance of professor ps rao garu we could able to move forward 
uh, I am working from, uh, and since uh, 2000, uh, I had very good association with our Professor P.S. Rava. This is the, my 21st year. I am working in that uh, institute uh, under the guidance of Professor P.S. Ravgaru. Under his guidance, we are able to move forward. Uh, and uh, uh, on behalf of our department and my personal behalf, I thank all the industry persons, uh, including our, our Dr. Vijay Kumar Garu, for uh, giving our uh, first civil engineering graduates, for giving the opportunity uh, to work there uh, in their uh, organizations uh, in terms of placement and also summer internships uh, immediately after our uh, uh, completing our graduation from our... Uh, thank you very much, sir. On behalf of our management, my uh, principal and uh, staff and from the department, we are very, very grateful to you for uh, giving this opportunity to, uh, to our students to uh, recently now, one week back, I have shared the, the uh, uh, letter to our PPS also, also. Some of my students are given the opportunity to work in your uh, uh, company. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, uh, we are expecting the same cooperation for the benefit of our uh, uh, civil engineering students and also for the benefit of the department. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, just I would like to uh, uh, convey my difficult uh, in this pandemic situation. In our uh, regular curriculum, curriculum uh, we, are, we are having these summer internship programs uh, after second year and after th third year immediately to our students. But because of this pandemic institute, uh, pandemic situation, our uh, no industry is allowing our students, and also uh, they are not getting the real practical experience through their internship programs. But uh, uh, the practice we are uh, doing is. In our department, we will be having most of the, uh, more than 50 percent of the uh, process from having industrial background. Earlier they worked in industry, now they are continuing as professors. Uh, we have given some uh, industry relevant projects to the students and uh, our, uh, under the supervision of our uh, uh, professors, we have given the, some uh, industry relevant projects. Uh, under our guidance, uh, they are moving forward, but uh, uh, in compared to the uh, the earlier uh, program had in uh, uh, industry, of course uh, this is not equivalent. But uh, but because of this situation, I am requesting uh, the other industry representatives to help uh, to our students for giving this summer internship. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, coming to uh, the topic I have given, uh, I was given the role of engineer in national building. Just I would like to uh, uh, inform about uh, uh, sector-wise, uh, coming to education sector, uh, as we are aware, uh, every human being needs food and shelter. In uh, good olden days, a farmer produces good food grains, completely depending on rains. The engineers have played an important role for the conservation of water for both drinking and irrigation purposes by developing storage and uh, distribution systems in terms of reservoirs, pumping uh, facilities for lift irrigation and water supply. Engineers have also played an important role in navigation, transportation of goods, animals and people coming to the shelter. And coming to the housing sector, every person needs the shelter based on the uh, comfort levels of the public. Uh, the shelter could be uh, small and, uh, and uh, to house to a luxury accommodation, uh, engineers have played an important role in the development of a small house to a, a tower structure of 1000 meters. Right. For example, Bhuj Kalis, uh, Kalafi is one of the pioneer constructions in, uh, in building industry and the wealth, wealth of the nation was also recognized by such uh, uh, huge developments. And coming to industrial sector, the role of engineering in the industrial development such as uh, factories for production of consumables, textiles, apparels, utensils, vehicles, food processing, power, etc. is uh, uh, very significant. Engineers role in chemical processes, mining, manufacturing of materials, utilization of raw materials, processed materials, etc. in building the nation is uh, commendable by the, our uh, engineers. 
coming to IT sector, development in communication, IT sector, smart electronics appliances, remote controls, etc., will have also developed by our uh, the engineering fraternity. Uh, coming to transportation, all means of transportation, both uh, such as highways, railways, airways, surface, surface transport, and shipping, including maritime development, etc., for all the contributions by our uh, eminent engineers in the nation. So, coming to defense sector, the national security, security, defense activities, etc., are also provided by laying of border roads, uh, bridges, infrastructure uh, projects by the engineers in border roads. Engineers also having uh, playing an important role on the solid waste management, waste management, environment, and air pollution control, and also the recycling of materials. Uh, to save the natural resources for a sustainable development of the nation. So these uh, are today's awardees, Dr. S. Vijay Kumar and uh, Professor P. S. Aogar, their contributions were uh, very significant towards the building nation. Thank you very much for giving me this opportunity. Thank you very much. Now I request Sri Ajay Kumar Ultratech cement products to give us the presentation on the cement products. Uh, good evening to all the engineering fraternity here. Myself, Ajay Kumar, uh, Territory Manager, Ultratech Cement Limited, uh, taking care of entire Vizag districts. Uh, uh, today, uh, it is my pleasure to be here uh, in associating with uh, ACCE as well as ICI. So we have uh, enough discussions uh, last year before pandemic uh, to do some concrete uh, awards uh, in association with uh, ICI in Vizag because of the now we have revived the chapter of uh, Indian Concrete Institute. Uh, uh, my sincere request uh, to all the engineers uh, in Vizag to take up this forward that ICI awards we were associated pan India with all the civil engineering bodies uh, like ACC, uh, uh, ICI and all and uh, it is really a pleasure to me to be here uh, standing in front of the stalwarts like uh, Dr. S. Vijay Kumar sir as well as uh, Professor Rao sir, DS Murthy sir, Sur Naren Garu and all. It is really a great pleasure for me. I just wanted you to uh, take you through a corporate of Aditya Birla Group. I will not take more than five minutes. So uh, Ultratech, everybody knows Ultratech. Why? Because the tagline itself says that Ultratech cement the engineer's choice. Uh, we are a flagship company of uh, Aditya Birla Group which is 44.3 billion uh, USD company. You can have a look because we are present in almost 35 countries and 5 continents across the globe. Almost we are anchored up with uh, 1,20,000 employees. We are the uh, number four global top companies. And if we uh, see our vision, our vision of uh, Ultratech is to be the leader in building solutions. Why we should be the uh, leader in building solutions? We have not ended up with only Ultratech cement. We have got uh, bucket of products like uh, building products. Like we have got bucket of products in ready mix concretes like Thermocon, Dura Plus and all. So different range of products we have. So top of mind should be Ultratech. Our vision is top of mind. Whatever the construction need, Ultratech should be the at the top of mind. So that is what our vision is. And uh, if you see the growth parameter of Ultratech, 83 and 85, we have started up with 1 million ton capacity. And at 2016, we have ended up at 62 million tons per annum. And now we have, after acquisition of all the plants, now we have uh, 2019, we are at 117.35 million tons per annum capacity and uh, we are the India's number one largest cement producer today and, and uh, world's third largest after China. And we have got almost 20% uh, market share uh, compared with all other companies, say some 20-25 companies we have. So out of which 20% market share we have for Ultratech. So out of five cement bags, one cement bag will be Ultratech. 
So these are the iconic projects, a few iconic projects. All the metros are associated with Ultratech uh, because as I already said, Ultratech is very well known. It is not that we have to uh, separately go and uh, indulge in the minds of the engineers or say uh, whatever it may be. So and these are few recent projects which has given us India's pride statue and these are the end-to-end -end capabilities which we have integrate, integrated set up operations like what I have told you already. We have not only ended up with cement, we have got Ultratech building solutions which is a one-stop solution for all the construction needs. Uh, we have got building products, we have got ready mix concrete. Uh, generally, usually what has happened is earlier ready mix concrete meant only we have to mix cement, sand, water, admixers and all were also not there earlier. But now we have got different range of bucket of products in ready mix like we have got stamped concrete, we have got Duraplus, we have got Thermocon, we have got Colorcon. So different range of products we have in concrete because it can be molded like anything like what we want. So that is the beauty of concrete I can tell you and BPD products like for solutions, uh, seal and dry, seal and dry flex, high flex and like crack fillers we have for tile, tiling, tile adhesives we have. So generally what we do in conventional mortar is only we will uh, mix up the mortar and we will fix the tiles. But here we have different tiles for VT, uh, vertified tiles we have VT, for ceramic tiles we have CT. So different tiles has got different adhesives with Ultratech. So likewise uh, white, white cement, Birla White, that is also the uh, flagship company. So and uh, one beauty of Ultratech is that uh, many of them doesn't know what is that happening practically inside. So many individual house builders say individual house builder being a owner of house, I will be, uh, I'll be uh, going to office in the morning and coming back in the evening but what work is going on at home and how it has happened that nobody knows. So only the progress they know that how it has happened today they have cast three columns or four columns or they have put plinth beams today or else they have done footings today. Only that the person know but what has happened actually in the field that doesn't know. So the beauty of Ultratech is we are educating all the individual house builders as well as contractors as well as masons. So we are very well associated like earlier I said with bodies with all the engineering bodies. That is the beauty of Ultratech. All the house builders in person to person we are visiting the sites and educating them because why failures are happening in sites? Why actually technology is 100% perfect sir, execution itself is wrong. If we doesn't execute it correctly but what, what people think is technology is wrong, technology is always right. We should be very much careful while executing that what technology says. Right sir and uh, thank you for giving this opportunity uh, for uh, being a part of this eminent uh, award for both these stalwarts, Professor P.S. Rao sir and uh, Dr. S. Vijay Kumar sir. One is academic expert and one is industrial expert. Uh, as earlier many of them said, uh, they are doing lot of things for Vishakapatnam and uh, my sincere request sir, because we have got enough structures and enough things in Visa. So we anyways revived the chapter of Indian Concrete Institute Visa chapter. We this year itself we wanted to conduct the awards, ICI Ultratech awards for 2021 and uh, uh, we really uh, need your support in this regard for giving uh, uh, beautiful structures because we have got uh, different uh, uh, categories in it like outstanding concrete structure for Andhra Pradesh. Like we can, uh, sir has done this uh, NAD flyover that can be the outstanding structure if we can nominate. That nomination is very much required sir as it is already opened up and uh, outstanding uh, apartments for each and every district, outstanding residential building for each and every district, outstanding concrete chapter, outstanding student chapter from colleges, outstanding young engineer. So we have got different categories in the awards. So already uh, Professor D.S. Sir Murthy Sir was one of the outstanding concrete engineer I think in 2015 or 16 when it was United AP. Uh, he has been awarded in Telangana now when it was in United AP ICI uh, awards. 
So thank you, sir. Thank you very much uh, for uh, making us to be a part of this event. Thank you. Another association, Secretary Sinha. And today, we are honored the eminent minister, Dr. P.S. Rao, Dr. Vijayan Mall Company Chairman, P.S. Rao, Vijay Kumar Rao, my dear colleagues and friends, thank you very much for the for giving this demonstration. Today, we are giving the topic Immigration is key for development, role of English. As you all know, India predominantly rural based. 70% of its population lives in rural areas of its pop and their occupation is mostly agriculture. Water is the most important requirement for agriculture production besides soil, seed, in them, apart from drinking water needs. Application of water to arable land is provided by irrigation which supplements the natural precipitation process of rainwater. India's economy predominantly depends on agriculture and water required in abundant quantities of irrigation. The, the population is increasing by leaps and bounds periodically and available water resources with surface and groundwater are not adequate to meet the requirements It is therefore important that both the surface and groundwater resources could never could cover all partial regions of cultivable areas have to be used in an integrated manner by planning systematic usage. As a long term policy, various river systems in the south be formed into a grid with excess water available in one basin to other case regions to meet the expectations. Unless these rivers are harnessed and utilized optimally, we cannot come out of the crisis of floods and famines. Padma Bhushan, Dr. K. L. Rao, an academician for excellence, a distinguished parliamentarian and central, government, central cabinet minister also with a strong advocate of forming a national water grid with Ganga Kaveri link. He felt that such grid would solve the problems of both drought and floods besides facilitating land navigation and hydro generation. The proposals are an annual for exploration of schemes by central government in consultation with the state governments. The total IP created in India is 139.5 million hectares. Major irrigation, major part is 585. Minor is 15. Groundwater, 66. IP in AP, 103 lakh acres. Cultivable area, 198.04. We have got Number of projects, 54 numbers, projects are there. Main irrigation comes to 24, 36 numbers and main irrigation to 18 numbers as well. Medium also. As far as combined AP is concerned, as many as 40 major main and medium rivers are flowing in the state, contributing 2,716 TNs of water availability, such as Krishna, Godavari, Penna, Mosjar and other river basins. Whatever is river flows only in India, in Telangana and coastal districts of bifurcated AP without going waste 3000 TMs of every year. For optimum utilization of water, the government of AP started education of follow-on project against allocation of 1480 TMC of Goda water by Bachao Tribunal. Follow-on project 
multi-purpose project contemplates 2.9 lakh hectares with the ultimate irrigation potential of 4.368 lakh acres. Diversion 80 TMC of gravity flip waters into River Krishna. The project was granted under national status after bifurcation, obliged to pay 90% of expenditure, intended to provide 23.4 TMC for drinking water and numerous needs of the Zarkutta. We have got J-Bank to project to Kalisthana also. It's about its world record. It is world's largest lift irrigation scheme requiring static power of 5 gigawatts. It is cost of 1.15 lakh crores. It is executed and completed also in Telangana area. Since the execution and completion of Palavar project in order to feed Aikat under Krishna Delta, Patisema lift irrigation scheme was contemplated and right bank, uh, connecting the right bank canal of uh, Palavar project. It was successful in saving Krishna Delta without any loss. Linking of rivers from Godavari Basin to Krishna Basin was started in AP with this construction. It's recorded in the entire country where started the linking of rivers first. Coming to the role of engineers, it's the right theme for the present day context and need of the award for all engineers to choose the life and work of Bharat, Bharat Ratna Makshuni Sesraya. Eminent engineer, he had a set model for, humanity, for uh, honesty and devotion to the works that he had handled, which form a model in the present day engineers to prove their values in the contribution of building up the nation. The improvement in values among Indians is an essential requisite for uplifting the nation from poverty, thereby leading to economic development. Infrastructure and irrigation projects and improve the economic standards of the people without compromising the quality and the stability of success. Every engineer has to be trained in such direction by way of acquiring knowledge, the skills and uh, own skills and with updated technical know-how using available software tools and sophisticated machinery. On this occasion, we need to remember the services rendered and contributions made by the by the Bharatna Roshan Vishesrai Garu, Saradhar Cotton and Dr. K. L. Rao, such other engineers of high repute at the national level. The young engineers should emulate the qualities and services of the um, See, Saradhan Cotton styled as father of irrigation in South India. He was instrumental for the construction of projects taken up in the East and West Gulliver and Krishna districts. He studied the beach erosion from Visakhapatnam. He has guided the laying groins to arrest the erosion. Dr. K. L. Rao, a multifaceted personality, was instrumental in the construction of Kerakut Dam in Odisha, Vijayawada Dharma Power Station, Sri Sarum Hydro Power Station, Hydro Project, and national importance. Let's pay rich tributes to them also. We are fortunate enough to facilitate the distinguished and eminent engineers, Dr. S. Vijayakumar and Dr. P. S. Rao, on this occasion by honoring with the best engineer award. There is a quote from Abdul Kalam, learning gives creativity. 
creativity leads to thinking. Thinking provides knowledge. Knowledge makes the great. So, with this, I conclude this. I'm very much thankful for the uh, for providing this opportunity to to say something about this topic. Thank you, one and all. Sir, I request uh, Devi Prasad Sir, the Secretary, Indian Concrete Institute, to please talk for a few minutes about irrigation for development, the role of engineer. And other associations, Secretary General. And today, we are honored the eminent minutes, Dr. P. S. Rao, Dr. Engineer Mon Company Chairman, P. S. Rao, and Yukumar Gaur also. My very colleagues and friends, thank you very much for our person for giving this demonstration. Today, we are given the topic. Irrigation is key for development, role of English. As you all know, India predominantly rural based, seventy percent of its population lives in rural areas of its pop and their occupation is mostly agriculture. Water is the most important requirement for agriculture production. Besides soil, sea, India, apart from drinking water needs. Application of water to arable land is provided by irrigation, which supplements the natural precipitation process of rainwater. India's economy predominantly depends on agriculture and water is required in abundant quantities of irrigation. The population is increasing by leaps and bounds, periodically, and available water resources with surface and groundwater are not adequate to meet the requirements. It is therefore important that both the surface and groundwater resources could never could cover all partial regions of cultivable areas have to be used in an integrated manner by planning systematic usage. As a long-term policy, various river systems in the south be formed into a grid with excess water available in one basin to other scarce regions to meet the expectations. Unless these rivers are harnessed and utilized optimally, we cannot come out of the crisis of floods and famines. Padma Bhushan, Dr. K. L. Rao, an academician for excellence, a distinguished parliamentarian and central, government, central cabinet minister also, was a strong advocate of forming a national water grid with Ganga Kaveri link. He felt that such grid would solve the problems of both drought and floods, besides facilitating land in navigation and hydro generation. The proposals are an annual for exploration of schemes by central government in consultation with the state governments. The total IP created in India is 139.5 million hectares. Major irrigation, major part is 585. Minor is 15. Groundwater, 66. IP in AP, one now 103 lakh acres. Cultivable area, 198.04. We have got number of projects, 54 numbers, projects are there. Major irrigation comes to 24, 36 numbers, and main irrigation to 18 numbers as well. Medium amount. As far as combined AP is concerned, as many as 40 major 
men and medium rivers are flowing in the state contributing 2760 tons of water availability such as krishna godavari penna hosdara and other river basins godavari river flows only in india in telangana and coastal districts of bifurcated ap without going waste 3000 tons of every year for optimum utilization of water the government of ap started education of polyon project against selection of 1480 tnc of godavari water by bachao tribunal polyon project multipurpose project contemplates 2.9 lakh hectares with the ultimate irrigation potential of 4.36 lakh hectares diversion 80 tms of godavari flood waters into river krishna the project was granted under national status after bifurcation obliged to pay 90% of expenditure intended to provide 23.4 tnc for drinking water and industrial needs of visakhapatnam we got jaybank to project of kalisthana also it's about its world record it is world's largest lift irrigation scheme requiring static power of 5 gigawatts it is cost of 1.15 lakh crores this executed and completed also in telangana area since the education and completion of polar project in order to feed aikat and krishna delta patisema electrification scheme was contemplated and treatment uh, connecting the treatment canal of polar project it was successful in saving krishna delta without any loss linking the rivers from godavari basin to krishna basin was started in ap with this construction it's record in entire country where started the linking of rivers first coming to the role of engineers it's the right team for the present day context a need of the world for all engineers to choose the life and work of bharat bharat ratna makshuni sesraya eminent engineer he had set model for humanity for uh, honesty and devotion to the works that he had handled which form a model in the present day engineers to prove their values in the contribution of building up the nation the improvement in values among engineers is an essential requisite for uplifting the nation from poverty thereby leading to economic development infrastructure and irrigation projects and improve the economic standards the people without compromising the quality and the stability of structures every engineer has to be trained in such direction by way of acquiring knowledge the skills and own skills and with updated technical know-how using available software tools and sophisticated machinery on this occasion we need to remember the services rendered and contributions made by the by the bharatna roshan sesrai garu sir arthur cotton and dr kl rao sansadar engineers of high repute at the national level the young engineers should emulate the qualities and services of the um, you and this see adar saradan cotton style as father of irrigation in south india he was instrumental for the construction of projects taken up in eastern west bengal and krishna districts he studied the beach erosion from visakhapatnam he has guided the lay growings to arrest the erosion Dr. K. L. Rao, a multifaceted personality, was instrumental 
in the construction of Kerakut Dam in Odisha, Vijayawada Dharma Power Station, Three Seven Hydro Power Station, Hydroelectric Project, and national importance. Let's pay rich tributes to them also. We are fortunate enough to facilitate the distinguished and eminent units, Dr. S. Vijaykumar and Dr. P. S. Rao on this occasion by honoring with the best engineer award. There is a quote from Abdul Kalam, learning gives creativity. Creativity leads to thinking. Thinking provides knowledge. Knowledge makes the great. So, with this, I conclude this. I'm very much thankful for the uh, for a, for providing this opportunity to to say something about this topic. Thank you, one and all. Request Dr. Vijay Kumar Garu to speak your words. So, I like to for listening to. Sri Markandai Garu, Sri Papa Rao Garu, I'd like to share, please note my WhatsApp number, 77020. Uh, people who have done inter and who secured 60% in hands, they all can get wonderful jobs starting for lakhs package to 24 lakhs package. And there are many such opportunities which I can put to the WhatsApp with you so that you can in turn you can benefit your students. Similarly, in internships, basically from an industry point of view, we like them to take the internship seriously. Whatever the wherever they are going, they should obey the that form, whatever they assume is and other things, damage and other things, they should not treat it as anything. They should get the, because if they are serious, industry is ready to try them sincerely so that some of them can live our future recruiters and some of them are our champion engineers. So we request all the internship and other things to be done more seriously. What I observed is many of them think that they are coming only to complete their project work this side. It is not so. By doing so, they will also know many things what is happening in the industry. So that, that is also very important for them in building up their career. So similarly, See, the civil engineering is a vast subject. In the transport engineering itself, there are so many opportunities. You name in any direction where we need to build this India, and so much is there. Thank you. Uh, our uh, Venu Gotti Party to please come and uh, Give the vote of thanks to all the dignitaries. Honorable best guests, Dr. S. V. J. Kumar Garu, Dr. P. S. Rao Garu, our most valued guests and fellow engineers, it's my privilege to propose vote of thanks on this occasion. I, on behalf of Association of Consenting Civil Engineers India, Vishayapatnam Center, Indian Concrete Institute, Indian Institute of Bridge Engineers, and Team Ultratech, and also Fraternity of Civil Engineers here, and on my own behalf of, extend a very hearty vote of thanks to all speakers for sharing their knowledge, findings, and opinions. I would like to express our sincere thanks to Professor DSR Mutigaru for giving an excellent overall coverage and enlighten us on the importance of engineers today. I also wish to mention our deep sense of appreciation for 
ప్రొఫెసర్ మార్కండేయ రాజు గారు ఫర్ హీస్ ఎక్స్ప్లెనేషన్ ఆఫ్ హౌ ఇంజనీర్స్ లైఫ్ ఈజ్ అటాచ్డ్ విత్ కాంక్రీట్ మోస్ట్ యూజ్డ్ మెటీరియల్ ఆన్ ఎర్త్ నెక్స్ట్ టు వాటర్ ఫర్దర్ వీఆర్ గ్రేట్ఫుల్ టు ఇంజనీర్ వి దేవి ప్రసాద్ గారు ఫర్ షేరింగ్ ఈస్ నాలెడ్జ్ అండ్ హౌ ద సివిలైజేషన్ అండ్ డెవలప్మెంట్ ఈస్ బేస్డ్ ఆన్ ఇరిగేషన్ అండ్ అవర్ రోల్ యాజ్ ఇంజనీర్స్ ఫర్ ఇట్స్ ఫర్దర్ అడ్వాన్స్మెంట్ ఐ ఆల్సో విష్ టు ఎక్స్ప్రెస్ మై గ్రాటిట్యూడ్ టు ప్రొఫెసర్ పాపారావు గారు ఫర్ ఎలాబరేటింగ్ ద రోల్ ఆఫ్ ఇంజనీర్స్ ఇన్ నేషన్ బిల్డింగ్ వీ ఆర్ ఆల్ ఇన్స్పైర్డ్ బై గ్రేట్ వర్డ్స్ ఆఫ్ ఆల్ స్పీకర్స్ వెల్ ఫ్రెండ్స్ an evening like this cannot happen overnight the preparation started a week ago as it is uh, requires planning and a bird eye view for all details we have been fortunate enough to have motivated and dedicated colleagues of pscce and icai who knows their job and ready to come forward out of this comfort zone for perfect planning and execution under the able guidance of our chairman శ్రీ ఎస్ సూర్యనారాయణ గారు ఐ థ్యాంక్ ఆల్ ద మెంబర్స్ ఫర్ దేర్ టీమ్ వర్క్ అండ్ సపోర్ట్ ఆల్సో ఐ వుడ్ లైక్ టు ప్లేస్ ఆన్ రికార్డ్ అవర్ థ్యాంక్స్ టు టీమ్ ఆల్ట్రాటెక్ హెడెడ్ బై శ్రీ వి వి అజయ్ కుమార్ గారు అండ్ శ్రీ ఎస్ నవీన్ కుమార్ గారు ఫర్ సపోర్టింగ్ ద అకేషన్ అండ్ ఆల్సో ప్రొవైడింగ్ అస్ విత్ దేర్ అడ్వాన్స్డ్ ప్రొడక్ట్ ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ వన్స్ అగైన్ ఐ వాంట్ టు స్టేట్ దట్ we are all grateful to dr p s rao garu and dr v s vijay kumar garu for accepting this award we thank you for being with us this evening it be it, it's been a great pleasure thank you very much sir